friends, Athena here, and today I'll be doing a full face of Tristique makeup. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the brand and then jump into application. This isn't necessarily a first impressions. I've had about a week to play around with these products, but I wouldn't consider it a review either since I'm not doing an ingredient analysis. So Tristique is another one of those high-end brands that are marketing themselves as sort of a minimalist and quick makeup routine. I ended up getting much more use out of the Subtle Beauty products than I thought I would, so I figured I'd try out Tristique as a brand as well. They sell many unfull size products, all of their products come in stick form, and they have an applicator included. The products appear to be made in Italy, they are cruelty free as a brand, and some of the products are vegan. During application, I'll try to mark the vegan products out for you. Right now, as you can see, I started the video off barefaced. All I have on is my skincare, which I will have linked below for you guys. Trustique sells products both as singles and as kits. Price is going to vary depending on the kit you get. I ended up doing a create your own essential mix kit where you get to choose all the products yourself and add as many as you want for a bulk 15% off discount. I won't mention price since it will vary per kit, but I do suggest you look for additional coupons because on top of the 15% discount with the Essential Mix Kit, I was able to find an additional 15% off. Let's start off with application. The first thing I purchased was the Tint, Moisturize, and Blend Stick in Tulum Nude. Let's start off with application. The first thing I purchased was the Tint, Moisturize, and Blend Stick in Tulum Nude. I ended up clipping my hair back just to get it out of my face. I really enjoy applying this product with my fingers. I think that's really the best way to get the most coverage out of it since this is sort of a tinted moisturizer like product. However, if you are going to use a brush, I really suggest using a denser brush like maybe a flat top kabuki, anything that isn't going to absorb the product because it is a low coverage product Anything that'll sort of take away product is not going to be really beneficial to you. As you can see, I can blend it in pretty easily with my fingers. It is a fairly moisturizing product, but I find that it gives a pretty skin-like natural finish once you rub it in. I have dermatographia, so I'm just gonna let my skin calm down for a little bit and then I'll pop back on. I am back and I'm gonna show you how I use this stuff as concealer. So I like to use my favorite concealer brush in the world. This is ABH Cosmetics number no. four fan brush. And I find that this brush really brings out the most coverage in any product. I'm going to start by loading up my fan brush and then I like to focus this wherever I feel I need more coverage, which is usually underneath my eyes and then underneath my nose where I tend to get darker acne marks. I tend to get a dark circle line of demarcation right here, so I always like to bring my concealer down there as well. And I'm gonna place a little in the hollow of my eye too. So this is what the skin looks like so far. As you can see, it's a pretty natural and skin-like finish, which I really enjoy. 
If you have dry skin, you really don't need to set this. I think it would last pretty well on you. And since this is a moisturizing formula, I think it'll stay looking nice and fresh on your skin. Since I have oily skin, I will eventually set this in my T-zone and under my eyes. I forgot to mention, this does come with a sponge tip applicator at the end. I wouldn't recommend using this applicator for the product because it's just gonna wipe off what little coverage the product has. Next, I'm going to apply the Color and Contour Cheek Stick in the shade St. Barth's Pink. This product has a dense brush tip applicator at the end. It is actually functional for blending out the product. However, I'm a heathen and I prefer using my fingers for cream blushes. So I'm just gonna draw this on and blend it out with my fingers. So as you can see, it goes on pretty pigmented, but it blends out really well and it blends out pretty easily. Now I'm going to apply the Color and Contour Bronzer Stick in Brazilian Bronze. And for this one, I am going to use the brush applicator just so you can see how it works. I don't really like to bronze, I prefer contouring, so I'm going to apply this in the hollow of my cheekbones instead of at the high points of my face. and then I'm gonna blend it out. You could probably tell when it went on, but this bronzer isn't particularly deep. It's definitely not gonna work for all skin tones. However, this is the only bronzer shade that they have. So you might want to exclude the bronzer from your essential mix if you are of a deeper skin tone. This is pretty much the finished complexion. I prefer a matte finish and I have oily skin, so I'm going to set down certain areas and then pop back on to show you an eye look. So this is the finished complexion after setting powder. Now I'm gonna show you the eye products I got. So I purchased a matte color and blend shadow crayon in Porto Purple and a Color and Blend Shadow Crayon in Shimmer Burgundy. These also come with a brush tip applicator at the end that I'm going to use to diffuse my lower lash line. To complete this eye look, apart from the brush tip applicator at the end, I'm going to be using a Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. I'm going to begin by applying the matte shade Porto Purple to my lower lash line inner and outer corners before diffusing it out. This created a halo effect. Now at the center of the lid, I'm going to apply the burgundy shimmer shade. to repeat these same steps on the other side except I'm going to speed through it. So this is the finished eye look using Porto Purple and Burgundy Shimmer. 
These are actually pretty long lasting. I have really oily eyelids. For me, these last about six hours before I start to notice creasing. Today I used them without an eye primer. Usually I like to use them with an eye primer because I like to get a full eight plus hours wear out of my makeup. Next up, I have the Trustique Good Vibes Mascara. This mascara does include an eyelash curler on the end of it. However, I haven't curled my eyelashes since middle school and if I show you this on camera, it's just gonna look like torture. So I'm gonna skip that, but I will show you the mascara on camera. this to be much more of a lengthening mascara than a volumizing one. It doesn't clump up my lashes and it gives a very natural fluttery eyelash look. The last thing I have to show you is lip products. I purchased the matte lip color and shiny balm in Barcelona Bright Berry. It doesn't really go with this eye look but I want to show you that these come with a lip balm at the end of them which I think is really cool. With my order, I also got a free mini lip glaze in English Rose. And from past BoxyCharm, I have the matte lip colors Belize Bordeaux and Florence Fig. I'm probably gonna end up in Belize Bordeaux, but I do want to show you all the lip colors I have, so we're gonna jump into a montage now. So I am back in Florence Fig. To wrap up with some final thoughts, hopefully you enjoyed the montage of the other lip colors I have from Trustique as well. I will mention in terms of lip products, the matte shades are not very forgiving on lip texture. If you do want a formula that's a bit more forgiving, I really enjoyed the lip glaze formula. As you saw with English Rose, these are fairly pigmented and they leave a really nice glossy and comfortable texture on the lips. To summarize, I really enjoy all the Trustique products I tried. This to me looks and feels like a full face that I would be comfortable going to an event in. With the last minimalist brand I tried, Subtle Beauty, it did give a very, very subtle look and I'm much more of a full face kind of girl, so something like this is much more comfortable for my day-to-day -day life instead of something that's more just for running errands. I also found that these products have a much more skin-like finish, and it's really easy to set them down with a powder to being matte for longer wear time. In terms of packaging, their carrying case is really cute and compact, it has a zipper closure and within it you do get a mirror. This particular design is from their Clean Ocean line and supposedly this is made of one recycled water bottle obtained from the ocean. For the stick products, I really enjoy that they have a nice strong magnetic closure. However, the magnetism is strong enough to stick the products together, which to me personally is a little annoying when pulling them out of the carrying case. But if you enjoy how something like the Fenty Match Sticks also magnetize together, this could be a pro instead of a con to you. While I do feel that all these sticks are a bit thicker and chubbier than they really needed to be, they are a nice heavy weight in the hand and they feel like a high-end product. I think the best thing about the packaging for me is that the brush tip applicators at the end are actually removable, which allows them to be washed. And even though brush washing is like the bane of my existence, it is really, really important to keep your brushes bacteria free. I might've forgot to mention earlier, but with the eyeshadow sticks, I really recommend working one eye at a time because these are pretty budge proof once they set down. Anyways, that was it for this full face of Trustique. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below.